All right, um, so this case, um, we actually don't have a side side angle, but we'll just go through the law of sines again. All right, so in the first, first matter, if you guys are just given information and you don't have a triangle, the first thing is just to draw an oblique triangle. And, and yes, I drew it over there, but I'm just going to draw it in the center for half. So let's just go and take a look at what information we have and then how we're going to apply law of sines. So again, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't really matter where you have your A, B, and C. Just make sure you have them uppercase. Um, so right now, we're just given 28 degrees. C is 104 degrees, which that doesn't make sense. So let's, let's switch these to this will be C and this will be B. So we'll say this is 104 degrees and this one's 28 degrees. All right, so I'm going to rewrite them around so it kind of makes a little sense on how the picture is. Does that kind of make sense what I did? It doesn't, it's OK to where they're labeled at. Then the only other information we know is A is 3 and 5 eighths. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we don't really want to be dealing with mixed numbers when we're trying to find the rest of the length. So what I'm going to do is just convert this over to a, um, just going to convert this over to a decimal. So the main important thing is, um, first of all, I can rewrite this as a improper fraction, right? By multiplying my 3 times 8 and then adding 5 over 8. So I could do 3 times 8 plus 5 is going to equal 29 over 8. So that's it as an improper fraction. And then to find the decimal version of that, it's going to be 3.625. That's just going to be a little bit easier for me to pl plug into my calculator rather than 3 and 5 eighths. All right, everybody understand? See where I got that? Good old uh, fraction. So now the next thing is um, to use law of signs, we need to have a ratio. Right now we have B, but we don't have side length B. We have C, but we don't have side length C. We have side length A, but we don't have angle A. So we need to create at least one of those ratios. Well, the only other thing I know right now is A plus B plus C equals 180 degrees. Well, I'm given B and C, so therefore, I know I can find A. So we can say A is going to equal to 180 minus B minus C. Does everybody follow me with that? Does that make sense, what I did? Sure that works. No. Did everybody say that? So what you can do now, you don't need to show all this stuff, but I would like you to see where you're getting A. I wouldn't like you just to write it in there. At least show them where that's coming from. So we just do 180 minus 104 minus 28. And we could say A equals 48 degrees. All right, so now we know what A is, which is 48 degrees. So now I have a ratio that I can use the law of sines. So remember the law of sines stated side length A is equivalent to, or over the sine of A is equivalent to side length B over the sine of B, which is equal to C over the sine of C. So what we want to do is we just want to find which ratio we'd like to find or which one we'd like to figure out first. Well, let's figure out what B is. So the only ratio I currently have now is the A over sine of A. So I'll take 3.625 over the sine of 48 degrees equals B over the sine of 28 degrees, <coughs> right? And then remember, we can cross multiply and then evaluate for B. So by multiplying sine of 40, so multiplying these cross and then dividing by sine of 8, sine of 48, I get B equals 3.625 times the sine of 28 degrees divided by the sine of 48 degrees. Okay, so I'm just kind of doing a little bit quicker math for you guys since we've already kind of gone over the main or the um, initial part of this. So does everybody understand how I at least went, got to this point? I cross multiplied and then solved for B. So now we just work in our calculators. Make sure we're in uh, degree mode. And we'll do 3.625 times the sine of 28. And then divide that by the sine of 48 and I get 2.29. All right, so now I can say B equals 2.29. And does that kind of uh, make sense? Well, at 48 degrees, my opposite side was 3.65. At a smaller angle, I have a smaller side length. So yes, that does kind of make sense to the triangle. Now let's go and see about C. So I'll do the same thing. I'll use my ratio of A, so 3.625 over the sine of 48 degrees equals 
my B, or uh, now I'm trying to find C, so I don't know what my sine length C is, over the sine of 104 degrees. So again, I'll cross multiply. So now I can say C is going to equal 3.625 times the sine of 104 divided by the sine of 48 degrees. So I'm going to do 3.625 times the sine of 104, and then divide that by the sine of 48 degrees. And I get 4.73. Uh, so I could say C equals 4.73. And there you go. Now I found all the missing lengths. Yes? And it wouldn't matter which one you did to find C, right? You could have done B or A. I could have used, used this ratio for B. Okay. Yes. It doesn't matter. Good? Okay. That's it. That's all you guys have to do. Even if you guys have a